one of the pupils in my class asked um, about cleaning their bike and cleaning materials and stuff. So I thought I would just give you a wee rundown on how to give your bike a clean. Um, especially as you can see, I have a few I have to clean on a regular basis. So hope this is uh, helpful to those people that want to give their bike a clean and keep it in good condition. I know people have been cycling a lot recently because it's one of the activities we're allowed. So um, here goes. Now I do have my bike up in a fancy bike stand here, but you don't really need that as long as it's leaning against the wall. What we do say is don't turn your bike upside down because then all the muck runs in the wrong direction down into your saddle. So try and have it upright. Now I use this stuff called muck off. It's usually pink. You'll notice inside it's a green stuff. That's because you do get cheaper stuff that you can buy from Tesco in the supermarkets, which um, I've bought in this case because I go through quite a lot of it. But muck off is really good. Don't use things like flash or fairy liquid from your kitchen because um, they're actually a degreaser for degreasing your um, pans and pots and your dishes. And actually you've got places in your bike, such as the drive chain the, um, and in the cranks and in your hubs, where you actually want the grease to stay or else it won't turn and it'll seize up. So don't use kitchen stuff for it, okay? Now you can see for actually cleaning, I've got a wide range of various brushes and things like that, but do you know what? A car cleaning sponge will really help. And in my pocket for various things. An old nail brush is quite good. And if you can get some cheap toothbrushes, they're good as well. So first thing I would suggest is to take your uh, cleaner and just give your bike a good spray all over. Just try and get it in every nook and cranny. Make sure you get underneath it, picks it up a lot of muck. In the wee tight spaces, just get it in there and just give it a good soaking all over. Remember to get round the rim of your wheel. In this case, I've taken a wheel off, so I'll need to remember to do that one, so I'll give it a squish as well. And then just let that sit for 10 minutes. Now, for the chain in the cassette, I've got this fancy stuff called foaming chain cleaner. Because you spray, it expands, okay? And I can go down along the, the chain with it and you'll see it expands out. You don't necessarily need that. If you've got cleaning fluid and you can get cheap, um, chain degreaser as well um, from Halfords and from um, supermarket but again I give my chain and the cassette at the back a good spray with that first and leave that for a little while now I just fill up a bucket with water use them outside tap here um, you don't really need anything in it because you've sprayed your bike with the bike detergent anyway so I just go for plain water you can go hot, especially if it's the winter time because your hands can get cold. Uh, this is just cold water and that's all I'm putting in because it, it acts more as a rinse than anything else. Uh, but again, don't put any fairy liquid in or anything because that will take grease away from your bike in places where you want grease to be. Cleaning the chain, I do have a chain cleaner which goes around the chain and as you turn there's wee bristles in there that give the chain a clean. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. This is where you can use the toothbrush or the nail brush. So if you're using your toothbrush or nail brush or a wee brush like this, turn the pedal and then just set this on top there and let it have a clean. And then once you've done that, put it under there and do the exact same and that gets both sides of the chain. When you've finished, you're then going to give the cassette a good scrub as well. And you'll see right now it's pretty filthy and I'll show you it once we're done. So starting off get your brush and this is where you'll have your brush or your sponge dip it into the water start at the top saddle first and then just work your way down the frame on both sides okay and try and get into the nooks and crannies as best you can i have special brushes for getting into the different nooks and crannies as you can see but you don't need that because that's when your cheap toothbrush can come in handy at getting into the smaller parts
You can see here dirt gets in everywhere, so if I go in quite close, this is underneath where the bottle cage should be. Now, you don't need to do this every time you do a clean, but there are simple things like your bottle cage. Sometimes if you're doing a deep clean, it's good if you take them off. I wouldn't advise taking off any of your drive chain or monkeying about with your brakes. I would leave that into leave that up to a shop to do. But simple things like that, or if you've maybe got a mud rack or mud guards or something, you can get the mock under them. But again, not something you need to do every time. Now, a lot of mistakes people make is they put too much oil onto their chain or they use their own kind of oil. A lot of people use WD-40. Don't use WD-40 in your bike unless it says it's bike specific because it's not for chains and things. I recommend this stuff, GT85, and again, I use this all the time, and I know I'm a cyclist, but it's not expensive, and you can get this for two or three quid, and it lasts for ages, because you don't need a lot on it. Literally, um, a short spray, and you're going to turn your chain, and as you do it, you're going to do it literally this amount, just to make sure you've covered the chain. And that's it for your chain. That's all you need. This is a water dispersant. So what it does is it gets all the water out of your chain, stops it rusting, seizing up, and it gives it a little bit of lubrication. And then you're going to do the same just over the top of your cassette at the back. And again, that's all you need. You don't need a lot on it. Or else, if you get too much, it starts to pick up dirt off the road. What I would suggest as well is um, if you've been out in the winter or in the rain, when you come back in, the bike might be clean, but if the chain's wet and the cassette's wet, quick spray with this stuff, just like I did there, and that just gets the water out, and it means when you go into the hot of the garage the next time, um, the chain won't be orange with rust. The other thing I would suggest, and don't use a new one and ask your mum and dad's permission or whoever's at home, I've got an old dish towel that was getting thrown out and I use this and I generally just wipe over the whole frame and just give it a dry. You don't want water seeping into wee nooks and crannies. Now just be careful when you're spraying any sort of oil or lubricant. If you've got these type of brakes where the rubber touches the wheel to stop you, don't get any on this rim because this is where the rubber is stopping you and you definitely don't want oil on that bit. Some of you may have disc brakes that have this kind of brake where the rubber doesn't touch the wheel but it actually has a disc brake and again when you're spraying, especially the cassette at the back, just be careful not to get any oil on there. If you think you have got oil on there, get that old dish towel and give it a wipe and get it off as quickly as possible. What I would suggest um, is if you see anywhere where a cable is going inside, just give it the tiniest little squish, that's enough. And you'll see there's another bit here. And just aim it in there, and that's enough. And that just keeps the cable moving freely in these. We call this bit the inner, and this bit the outer. And the outer's got metal on the rim too, although it's covered in plastic. And a wee bit of lubricant there just keeps it moving nice and freely through there. Again, the tiniest little squish is all that's needed. So there you go, there's my quick guide to giving your bike a clean. The weather's been good just now, so you maybe don't have to do it as much, but trust me, cleaning your bike can add years to its life, and obviously that saves you a bit of money as well. Really helps with maintenance and part replacement. So, I hope that was quite simple. I hope that showed you how you can clean your bikes with things that can either be bought really cheaply, or that you can find round about the house. So, remember, keep your bike in good condition, but more importantly, keep yourself in good condition and wear your helmet.